what is going on guys welcome back to another video and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this cool music video transition using filmora 12. this is so simple to make so let's jump into filmora and get started okay guys this is the clip i using to create our effect and this is my next clip after our transition. So first we need to roto brush him. So I already roto brushed him like this. So let's start to create our transition. First, I select my second clip and create keyframes on scale and rotation. Then I change the scale to zero, and after that go to few seconds forward, then change it again to 100, and rotate to something 720 degrees. Okay, now it looks like this. So now I need to add spin blur to this, so I go to the effects, Boris FX, and select blur. Then I select this spiral blur, and add it to my second clip. Okay, now go to the effect settings, select the spin angle, then go here, and create a keyframe. Change it to zero, then go a few seconds forward, and change it to 20. Then go to the ending point, and change it again to zero. Okay, now our spin blur looks like this. Okay, now I need to reduce this sharp look on our second clip edge. So we need to add some blur look for a better look. For that I use the shape mask effect. Then I go to this first keyframe. And create keyframes on blur, radius, height, and width. Then I change the blur to something 40. The blur radius to 0.3. And height to 90. And the width to 80. Okay, then I go to the end point, and change height and width to 100, blur to 0, and radius to 0. Okay guys, now it looks like this. Perfect. So let's see how to create this part on our transition. So first we need to change him to a 3D object, so we can easily do that using this BCC wildcard effect. So I add it to my roto brush layer. Okay, now go to the effect settings, select array, and change the number of cards X and Y to 1 like this. Okay, then go to the built-in camera section, and select cam position Z. Then I change the value to similar to the original scale. Okay, after that go to the ending point, and I create a keyframe on this, then go to few seconds forward, and change it to like zoom out look. Like this. Okay, now I need to change the angle on our object, so go to the Fractal Movement section, and you can adjust the angle where your object wants to move. So I go here, and create a keyframe. And I go here, and change it to something 50. Okay, after that I adjust the X value a little bit like this. Okay guys, now you can see it's moving like this. After that, I need to add some motion blur to this, so I go to the blur section, select this radial blur, and I add it to this layer. After that go to effect settings, and I select blur amount. Then I select here. Create a keyframe, then change the blur to zero, go to the end, and change it again to 25. Okay guys our main part is done. Now we need to add some shake and glow effects. So I search glow effect on the effects tab, then add it here. And I need it 15 frames long part. So I crop it here. Then I create my glow animation like this. After that let's add the shake effect. So I select this extreme effect, and add it like this. 
Okay guys, our transition is done, here's the result. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy this, and please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment about this video, and what tutorial you like next, so let's meet up the next video. Take care and peace.